Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Dana Parrott, and it's April 1st, April Fool's Day. Right. It's coming up soon on Easter, mm -hmm. and when we think of Easter, we think of eggs. That's right. Right? That's right. We also think of bunnies. But today <laughs> we're going to talk Candy. about eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of things. And candy. Uh, of course. <laughs> right. Chocolate. But today we're going to talk, exactly. Today we're going to talk about eggs, and we're going to make bacon and cheddar deviled eggs, That's right? right? Okay. Sure. So, and you're going to said you're going to make it in the no mess way. That's right. So I know I will be the first to admit I don't like deviled eggs, um, and so I tried to look up different takes on deviled eggs, you know, just to see what else is out there. And this is one that maybe I could do. So bacon and cheddar deviled eggs. It's a little bit different. Maybe something that your family will like. Bacon is all the rage right now. Right. Um, so and of course, cheese. Bacon and cheese. Right. You that's can't right. go wrong, right? Um, and the eggs are healthy for that's, you. That's that's what I was going to say. So we're still getting our <laughs> healthiness in there with the egg. That's right. Because um, eggs are so good for you, you know, they've figured out that they can change the nutritional value of an egg based on what they feed the chicken. And so the amount of cholesterol in eggs has just decreased so rapidly in the past, you know, 10 and 20 years. And really? the amount of vitamin D has increased. Uh -huh. So they're high in vitamin D, they're low in cholesterol, they're about 70 calories per large egg. Plus, they've got lots of vitamin and minerals, and so they're just really good for you to have. And that's just based on what they're feeding the mm -hmm. chicken. They've just kind of oh, figured out that if they mess with that a little bit, they can mess with the egg a little bit. Okay. Uh, which has N been really good for us. So. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Now, before we got to this stage, you could see the empty eggs here. Mm -hmm. You actually had to do some stuff with these eggs, right? That's right. Um, so we went ahead and hard-boiled these eggs. Now, I will admit, like I said, I don't like deviled eggs. I don't like hard-boiled e hard eggs. And so I did some experimenting because I had never uh, made my own hard-boiled eggs. And um, so I asked on Facebook, our, our Facebook page, what people's tried and true methods were. Because it's kind of like a pastry crust. Everybody has their method for hard boiling eggs and what works for them and what doesn't. Um, so I asked and got some interesting responses. A lot of people do it um, on the stove, which is the traditional way to do it. Uh -huh. uh, they talk about adding vinegar, adding salt, things like that. Some people add a pinch of salt. Some people add a half a cup of salt. Um, okay. The salt just helps it to peel a little bit better. Um, the vinegar is going to help if your egg does crack while it's in there, which is a common thing for it to do. It kind of keeps that egg together. Um, so both of those things do help. But okay. um, what I did was I actually cooked them in the oven, which I'm the type of person, especially being at work, where I need to just walk away. And so I cooked them um, at 325 for 30 minutes, put them in a muffin tin so that they didn't roll around, um, huh. got them out, peeled them. They were so easy to peel because I put them in some ice water, um, which helps them to contract in the shell a little bit. Peeled them, chopped them in half. They were perfectly hard boiled, popped the yolks out. So no water involved? Nope. Okay. I stuck them in a muffin tin and stuck them in the oven. Interesting. It See? is very interesting. You're I decided to experiment and it worked. Exactly. So. You learn new things here on Central Kentucky right. Cooking with the extension That's offices. Right. So these are cooked hard-boiled eggs. Mm -hmm. And I mean it takes a little longer because you do cook them for 30 minutes, but you're not having to stand over the oven and watch you know how long they've been boiling and that right. kind of thing. So it's a, it's a walk away method. Yeah, because it could boil over and cause right. other issues with yeah. the oven. Okay. Now never do it in the microwave because you can't put eggs in a shell in the microwave. It will explode, but oh, they can okay. go in the oven. Don't so. experiment that far. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right. I not get crazy. <laughs> I imagine it's cleaner too because you don't oh, have to yeah. clean up all that mess that comes when you yeah. boil in your yeah. pot. You can just That's kind right. of Okay. Used a muffin tin and rolled yeah. on, so okay. that's the only good. thing I had. Very good. Okay, yeah. so we've gotten to this point. That's right. That. Now so what I've do we need to do? Chopped my eggs in half. I've popped the yolks out. Uh, the recipe that we're going to use, we're actually going to do a no mess method, which means we're going to make it all in the bag that we're going to pipe from. Uh, this is a really good method if you are going to a picnic or a tailgate or something, because you can leave your mixture in here and then pipe when it's time to eat. That way, you don't have to worry about you know finding some type of container that they won't get messed up in. Plus, we're not me messing up any bowls, which is my favorite thing. Exactly. That's right. So um, I've already got my egg yolks in here and some of the egg whites. It does call for to chop up some of the egg whites. I saw you did that. That's mm -hmm. that's un different, right? Unique. Yeah, I or think is that so. Traditional. Okay. Um, I think it's one of those things where everybody, everybody does a little does different. Okay, okay. Most people will do their e most people that I know do their deviled eggs with just the egg yolks. Um, some mayonnaise or some Miracle Whip and paprika. That's you know, what that's, I loved Yeah, <laughs> that's the way to do it. So this one is a little yeah. different. It doesn't involve a few more ingredients, but nothing strange. Um, everything that you're going to have. And it has bacon, so it can't be bad. That's exactly right. <laughs> so what we're going to do, I did cut the recipe in half. Um, it does call for a half a cup of mayonnaise, so we're going to do a fourth a cup here. And we're just going to be able to dump it right in. And we may need to get a spoon, but again, you can just use your finger through the outside of the bag. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. We're going to use, um, it calls for a half a cup of sour cream, so we're going to use a fourth a cup. Again, I'm just scooping it out with my finger through the bag. Um, it calls for a fourth a cup of cheddar cheese, some Dijon mustard, which that just dumps right out, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of lemon juice 
Hmm. So again, all things that we typically have in our fridge. Some bacon, of course. Absolutely. Now the thing to remember with the bacon is that you want it to be finely chopped because it is going to have to come out that hole. You are going to have to, you know, eat it. You do want, most people do want a creamy, um, smoother mm -hmm. mixture for their deviled eggs. So you do want to finely chop that. And then some chives or green onions. And if you're making it for me, you don't have to have the bacon. <laughs> there you go. That's right. You can kind of play with this one a little. And then you just seal your bag up and mash it like you would with a fork um, in a bowl. Mm -hmm. But you're just going to mash it yourself. And again, like we talk about with kids, that could be something fun yes. for them to do. This is a good you know, sensory activity because you get to feel all the different things that are in there. Mush so this would around. be great. That's right. This would be great for kids. Um, and then all you're going to end up doing is once you've done and mix it up to the consistency that you like is move it down. Uh, now you can make this ahead of time and store it for as long as you need. Uh, okay. You know, if you want to make this Saturday night before Easter, um, but you don't want to pipe it till later, perfectly fine. Stick this bag in the fridge and you're good to go. And then all you're going to end up doing is chopping off the corner of the bag and piping it in your eggs. Okay, so you cut, okay, and then just squeeze yep. it in. Yep. Very good. Just kind of like if you were cake decorating or something. Uh huh. Uh, squeeze it right in there. So. But make sure your hole is big enough to get the bacon out. That's right. That's yeah. right. So you may have to cut a little, start small because you don't want to cut something big and then, you know, Flop. yeah, have a whole bunch. Um, so start with a small cut and then if you need it to be a little bit bigger, just cut it a little further up. Fantastic. So, yeah. So again, that's the bacon and cheddar deviled eggs. Mm -hmm. And it's an easy way, no mess way to prepare all the ingredients for inside. We learned a new way to hard boil our eggs. That's too. right. Super. That's right. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Uh, stay with us, though, because we're going to come back and do some decorating of eggs, right? right? My favorite and see part. how that goes. Yeah. Exactly. So stay with us here on Central Kentucky Television.